Sejuani. So there's a lot of good tools. Yes! I actually love the Ivern here. I think that is going to make it so much more difficult uh, for TL, you know, both, Kirby. but uh, it's this little bit of pressure that they have been able to put on, and we'll see if they can capitalize on any of those missing flashes. Um, but grabbing an early Infernal close at this point. And Energy are just continually putting on this pressure here. One more auto is going to do it. So first tower already. Here. Bot side will be able to grab a dragon back. Here. Dokla's going to die. So it's going to be a race on the other side of the map to see what can they get done there. They're forcing oh, nice the play. flash out of Dokla. Core JJ finds him as well into the ultimate, but Dokla is living to the very bitter end. Almost takes out Core JJ, but Yon claims the kill, and it's first blood for Team Liquid. Yeah, good move from TL up towards the top side. They finally get Dokla. This has been the TL game plan. All eggs in the summit basket, constantly forced towards him. They're going to lose their tower on bottom side. Of course, tier one mid was already taken a while ago, so that was that first tower of the game. Uh, this will eventually, we assume, be a trade on the top side. Uh, not quite yet, but FBI going to be able to push out bot. They pushed out mid already. They take away some jungle camps potentially. And they continue oh. trying to extend the gold lead. They might not be able to get this turret. Uh, Dokla has teleported. And Ignar is threatening to collapse on here. Being a little risky. It's an overextended play as well. Teleport from Dokla is right there. But of course, there is always that concern that all of that gold is going to Jax, whereas yours is going to be split amongst multiple members on the top side. Here comes Contracts, as expected. Glacial Prison doesn't quite hit Contracts. Daisy has been summoned as well, just a body block in case that was necessary, but Palafox gets to hit this turret completely unmatched. And they won't even have to actually drop the Herald to get it, so nicely done. They did trade, you know, uh, whether it's going to be Redemption or like maybe even Mikhail's going to be really good against Sejuani, but Summit might could be, be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Palafox is teleporting in, Summit forced to flash, but the explosive charge is right on top of him, and he doesn't have the Counter-Strike again to be able to deter the damage from Palafox, and he gets the rocket jump once again, and Pioshik is locked up. Two kills over the side of energy. Get a charge additionally after that, but if you spend too many members down towards bot, they could even challenge up the five, but... They're late to the scene. We'll see if they can get in there. Maybe Knight just might not be late at all. 1400 HP. Hex flash from Ignar doesn't quite connect. Yoshik is able to take it down. And Core JJ forcing the front line. Yawn using the killer instinct to put himself on the left side of the map. And Palafox is in the pit, but neither. Finishing this. And here comes the TP now. Now they should probably peel. Well, they're committing. Do they want to commit as well? To 2,000 HP as well. Summon just goes right into the heart of the pit. Conjux is able to secure it because there's no threat from Kyoshik. But can they get energy members out of the pit safely? Core JJ taking a lot of damage. And FBI is still not arcane shifted over the wall because he still wants to trade blow for blow against Yon and the rest of Team Liquid. Doko looking to for another re-engage as well. Summit jumps in. Counter-Strike. Here comes the engage from Ignar right into the middle. Summit and Kyoshik still surviving the onslaught. And Yon is forced out of the fight because FBI from over the wall finds a true shot barrage and takes out more frontline members and Palafox oh. gets the reset finding Pyoshik on the back end and the fight. Feeling really good about that one as well as they are on the march here. 6k up Baron in pocket. Energy are pressing to win this series. And you talked about it before Azale. So many players in this game are confidence players and Palafox is definitely one of them. When he is feeling it he is on fire and now Palafox could be looking to make that show-stopping performance something that he's carried on every single game of this series, even in the loss. Renekton, it's very difficult to make anything happen there. There's not an angle for Soul for TL, so things are going to be very, very tough for them, but they are moving out on the map here, trying to see if they can find a pick. Oh, FBI spotted right on the control where Glacial Prison stuns him dead. Steal. Yeah. Then it just seems almost just almost game over for Team Liquid, because a lot of this damage is from line of They need him now be able to step up and they're going to go for the deep TP here. No one's spotting him from energy just yet and Summit could have the angle. They have the ward and from the fog, FBI gets jumped by Summit. They, can they carry out this fight? Ignar and Dokla fighting this one out, but they dropped a Team Liquid just like that. Team Liquid. To disengage him, so Dokla has to keep him out of the pit and they got to try to finish. Pioshik tries to look for the steal, but he gets stunned up. The stasis, 1000 HP, it's secured by contract. Reset. Pioshik is gone, Yon is gone. He goes golden, but he does he have killer instinct? Can he look for the reposition over the wall? He finds an angle, Palfox looks for it. Core JJ gives his life to make sure that Palfox cannot look for the killing blow. And Yon fights back, takes out Dokla. He's still alive.
alive. Summon is still up and available, but Palafox has teleported. He has to made a triple kill. He's going to look to see if they can look for the push. I think they're going to go for it here. I think they have what it takes to close this one out. It's just Yon with no cooldowns and Summit with no flash. Has ulti, but no Zonia's here. It's a 2v4 stand, but they've got no answer for Palafox. Summit jumps right into the back line of energy, but they peel him off. Counter-Strike already used a lot of damage. The splash damage. Palafox cleans it up for the unofficial pentakill. And energy will advance in the upper bracket to face against the Golden Guardians. Energy have done it. Pala Faker taking over the series. Going off in this one, finishing 6-0-4 on the Tristan.